Uh, guys, we rehearsed this. It's quack. Howdy, folks. Grog the Duck Farmer here on the Feed the Beast Infinity server, and there's been a few changes of uh, around here on spawn. Uh, for one thing, I've got an axe. Choppity choppity. Well, to get an axe like this, I need to have something better than the plain stuff I started off with. Aha! Tinker stuff! So I went to, to the mining world, which you can see there. Slime. I uh, went to the mining world and there was a village that had a nice uh, set of uh, smeltery stuff. So I said, aha! Mine! And I also got the uh, the tinker tools, went ahead and upgraded the the station to the forge. So that way I was able to make myself a uh, lovely lumber axe using stone because it's really cheap to repair and that's that's you know good enough for what I'm doing right now Ooh, let's uh, go ahead and grab some of this uh, I like these berry type uh, plants because they can saturate your your hunger so I'm full but I was able to eat a bunch more keeping my hunger way up which is is really good and uh, a bunch of barley and some carrots, some wheat. You know, here's some some string. Well, some cotton plants that I can make string out of. Uh, not quite sure how much I'll keep this, but uh, I won't uh, do all the farming on on screen because boring. Just barely harvested some of the sugar cane and put a bit more around the water, so we can slowly build that up because we're going to be needing some more uh, books. I'm thinking uh, doing the uh, applied genetics is one of the, the first things I like doing on the server and that's going to require a bunch of books so I've got uh, plenty of leather that I got from some cows in the mining world but at this point I need to go ahead and make some more paper so we can do that let's uh, dump this stuff in here some slime and bits that I found so other stuff that uh, I did, I went and did a long uh, spiral down in the mining world to get to close to bedrock about um, level 11 and then went off for a while and so I managed to get a bit of resources. Here's uh, some, some metals I picked up as part of uh, my running around down there and I think it's time to get some armor going. Let me go down to my little shack kind of cleared off some of the trees here had a couple uh, explosions one which was here from you saw the last time another one that was just up there half of the tree that was off camera so that's that's loads of fun I need to move some of that iron up so that uh, it's available for anybody who's there but in the meantime I'm gonna make me some iron armor I am I am because having iron armor is very nice. And oh, let's also get some pants too. Alrighty, let's get some iron armor going. Yeah. I'll keep three there and the rest can go up. Oh, it's getting kind of late, but we'll get up there and back in time to sleep. That way, anybody who pops up here in spawn has access to iron. And it's a bunch of iron there. All right, yeah, let's, let's get ready to sleep. This is by no means permanent. It's just a, uh, a way of getting uh, something safe and storage for for quick things here in the spawn area that connects to Nepo's place uh, I was hearing some mobs in that direction and I did a bunch of digging around and up and about and I couldn't connect to them so they're either further up or further down I don't know a bunch of wood gathering because you having a bunch of uh, logs on hand is always very very nice let's uh, make an iron pick and you know should also probably do a hammer so I can do some some mining let's do that I almost always 
start with a lumber axe because that allows me to get the, the wood I want as fast as I can. Not too often do I do a stone hammer, but uh, let's take a look at this. This is good for a 3x3 three three, uh, mining, and so to do that I need two of those and the hammerhead. All right, so I don't have the hammerhead stencil, so let's get one of those. Put that in here. I need one of them. And then I need two of these guys. And another one of those. And then I need a rod. That should do it. I'll leave that there. And then let's go ahead and make ourselves a hammer. Yeah, that'll do it. We'll give it a name. El Smashador. Alrighty, so that will certainly help. Let's put the repair stuff back into place. And so now we've got a good uh, miner and a good lumber axe. The reason why the lumber axe is so very helpful because off here in the mining world, I've been setting up some spruce trees. And those are very nice, little uh, two by two grid of uh, spruce. And boom, now I have a whole bunch of spruce wood, oh, but not enough to replant there. Okay, fine, I'll come over here. There we go, that's a bunch. enough to plant these areas and let's chop this one down yeah stone isn't the the best of the the miner and uh, tinker tool to material but it's so very cheap and since I've got lots and lots of it I really don't care so I'm taking the wood that I'm I'm getting and I'm turning it into charcoal because that is a very uh, nice fuel to have. And uh, I should have grabbed the rest of the brick while I was up in that uh, little village, but oh well, we'll do that later. Five diamonds, almost enough to get the, uh, uh, the genetics going. But if I remember right off the top of my head, I need seven. So that's not quite, uh, not quite enough. Did get a, a bunch of uh, lapis and redstone, uh, not too many other things. Oh, 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 one other thing. I did get from a mob here an uncommon treasure that I figure I would uh, open on camera. First, I'm going to eat. All right, so what am I getting from the uncommon treasure? Ooh, looks like a ring of protection and some gold coins. Interesting. Runic shield plus one. Well, I don't have a shield on, but uh, let's go ahead and toss on a ring, because why not? I'm not sure if that's actually doing anything. Nice little armor. But, you know, why not that? So, dude, have you gone to see a doctor? That looks pretty painful. Yeah. Would you like at least a, a bandage? <laughs> well, it's time to have a quick little update as to what I've been doing here on the Feed the Beast server. In my hand, I have a hammer, which means it's hammer time, which is a joke that never gets old. Uh, I use that to pound out some strip mines in the mining world. Uh, it's nice three by three tunnels go pounding off into the distance, and got a good collection of uh, resources. Nepo came along and helped me, and we, uh, yeah, we got a good uh, amount of stuff here, and some ore. Yeah, that's a good amount of ore. And I decided to set up some, some machinery to, to process this, so I used a furnace generator with the pulverizer and redstone furnace to double my ores, 
and that's what uh, produced those there. And then I went ahead and created the sag mill and alloy, alloy smelter because these four are probably the, the machines I use the most in Minecraft modded. So now I've got them. But I decided that uh, the furnace generator just wasn't good enough for my power needs. But that's okay. I built myself a little tiny 3x3x5 reactor. Not a 3x3x3, three by three by three, but 5. So it's a little bit taller. does about 800... Uh, close to a K, but 800 uh, RF per tick. You can see uh, I've got uh, lots of energy in here. That's because I was dumb and let it keep running. And so it uh, filled up and burnt up all my fuel. Which is why I have plenty of cyanide here. <laughs> oh well, I was dumb. The one thing I was lacking, since I, I made myself some of the, the, the power conduits to, to feed these, I don't have a ender pearl to make the uh, item conduits that I love and enjoy from Ender.io. But just a few minutes ago, it was night, and I looked out and I saw there was an enderman out there, so I braved it and killed him. So now I need to... wait a second, what's the recipe for item conduit? Ah, that's right, I, that's right, I need some iron over here. It's one of those and one of those in the alloy smelter. Oh, no, no. It will process the iron and turn that into a, a different type of steel if I just leave it by itself. So I always do the non-iron piece first. I have learned from sad experience that I lose more stuff that way. Same thing when I'm making solarium. If I put the soul sand in first, it turns it into glass. But if I put it in uh, the other part, and I can't remember what else goes in solarium, maybe it's another ender pearl. Uh, you put that in there and it uh, does it. So that's what I need, pulsating iron. Let's get some nuggets. And do I have my... Nope, not here, it's over here. There's my conduit binder. So let's go ahead and make some item conduits. Oh yeah, that's what I love. Well, since I'm here, let's go ahead and upgrade the chest so that I can store things better. Iron chest, do, 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 do. gold chest, that'll work. And let's just beat this to bits. Boom, look at all that go. So gold chest goes there. Let's dump the stuff in. And that too, and these bits. Oh yeah. Good. Now we've got that. So I can go ahead and start slapping item conduits everywhere. One there and there and there and there and there. I love item conduits. They are so fantastic. So we don't really need the input as much as we need the output for, for this. So let's go ahead and have it output at the back. Same with you. You're going to output in the back. I might figure out some other stuff there later. We're going to go ahead and extract without sig signal. Same with you guys. You nicely don't need to be configured. And that one just through there. Oh, come on. You are an input. Alrighty. So now anything I dump into here will get processed on through. And I got nothing to do that. Let's grab a little bit of a cobble because I could certainly stand having some sand. It'll give me some sand as well as some uh, gravel. I can use. You are still configured. Stop that. There. Now you'll go out the back. Yep. Nope, 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 nope. I don't want you to be pulling either. Stop that, you. You can stop going that way as well. <laughs> All right, so now it's back in place. 
All right, that's better. Now this is uh, processing and it's getting yanked out the back instead of the f going on down. All right, good. All the, the fellow people on the server can come down in here and use that to bulk process anything they need. Over here, advanced genetics. These are the bits I need to start the advanced genetics machines, all of them. I need some, some charcoal to kind of fuel them, but that I've got lots and lots and lots, so I don't care. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, off-screen build these, because, you know, building bits like this is boring. And then I'm going to have to do some caving, see if I can find some bats. That's my number one thing to, to grab. Uh, bats for fly and night vision, and then probably squid, because they're fairly easy to get, so I can swim in the water. And then I'm free. I can go any place I want, and I can start exploring the areas and find a, a good place to set up as a, as a base. See how that works. So I found a bat in the ravine underneath spawn. You can see in the map I'm almost directly under spawn. And so it's cell scraping time. Give me your stuff. Give me, 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 give me. I've got my golden bag so I can carry all of this stuff. Oh yeah, that's the way to do it. Alrighty, so I have a bunch of skin scrapings now for the bat. Next, I gotta go build me all the uh, advanced genetic bits and start cranking out uh, some fly and night vision. Nine hours later. Okay, well, it's not been nine hours, but it's been a couple hours. I've got the advanced genetic stuff all done. A uh, little bit of, uh, a wee bit of automation here where this is piping into the top, where then pipes from below and into the top here, and then I just manually do the rest, but that saves so much right there. But right here, Ho 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 ho. I'm gonna see what this does. Let's see what it does. Like the little uh, head there on the wall? Yep, found that. Anyway, time to shoot myself up. Here it goes. Oh, ouch. Ooh, feeling kind of woozy. Oh, I think I might hurl. Oh, no, oh, ah, ah, cleared up. But what does it do? It does this. I can fly. <laughs> now I can go everywhere and do anything as long as the monsters don't kill me. But that's what I've been dying to get is now the ability to fly around and figure out, okay, where am I going to build my base? I don't know. But it's time to get some night vision, maybe some water breathing, I don't know what else. And I get to laugh at the other people on the server who can't fly like me. Ha 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 ha. Ha. Hey kids, what time is it? It's howdy doody time. It's a, well, no, it's not howdy doody time. It's quarrying time. That's what it is. It's time to build a quarry and get more resources because, you know, hammering along with the uh, El Smashador, it, it really works. It works great, but, you know, it's nice to let uh, automation do its thing. So, let's see what we got in here. This, as near as I can tell, is all I need for the quarry itself. Now, I will need some markers so that I can sit there and, and delineate out the, the quarry itself and then something to hold what I'm going to be building. So some uh, leadstone energy cells, some item conduits, so that's all that I am going to need, including the chest itself. So let's go ahead and grab this. Stuff, 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 stuff. All right. Nepo and I had just been doing a little work down in the mining world, and I said, ah, I think I'm going to go ahead and build this. So I need, actually, I need a whole bunch of these. Here, let's take a quick look at the quarry recipe. Quarry. This one. BC Factory Quarry. 
I'm going to need some iron gears, uh, a whole bunch of them because each one of these build up. So a diamond gear is made out of the gold gear, which is made out of... What? I thought that was actually straight out of the iron. I was wrong. That's cheaper than I thought. All right, well, let's make... Uh, I need to make four... Why did that? There we go. Let's make four of these. Little creeper run wandering nearby. So four of those, and then two of these need to be upgraded to diamond. There's the diamond stuff that I need. And now I need three. One, two, three of those. I believe I miscalculated. So the twos, one of those, those there, those there, and that there. Corey! Alrighty. Uh, now I also need to get me some landmarks. And I only need three, but I will keep a redstone torch. Well, I think I'm done. All right, let's go ahead and put that there. I can start grinding away. Mr. Creeper is really annoying. So, well, it, we'll go this way so that uh, I don't blow up myself. And I'll show off a little handiwork that Nepo has done. He dropped a shaft all the way to the ground. Oh, he's up here in his uh, little place. Nepo spot. Howdy. Nope. Howdy. So, nice little uh, shack that he set up here. Jump out real quick. He was talking about doing more different types of woods, but that's all he had on hand, so, eh, good enough. It's a nice little uh, home away from home. Hello, sheep. Off to do some mining. Notice I have fly. I love it. It's great. And I updated. Here's a little axis where I've been going down to uh, chew up the, the mining world. Well, we've got a little shaft here that goes all the way to the bottom because <laughs> I can fly, which is very nice. But I'm not going to start chewing big holes this close to the spawn area of the mining world. I'm going to go down south. I found two saplings. A rubber sapling down there and a mega rubber sapling. And I looked at them and I said, I know what these look like, but there are several different versions of this. And this is the baby <laughs> mega sapling. Uh, I've seen one that uh, popped out something. It's probably about four times this size. It was a, it was definitely a good size to build a tree. And uh, we manually went through and chewed it all down. I'm going to use the quarry that's going to be so much easier than doing it with anything else. So, uh, let's see, I need something to build out with. So I got some dirt blocks to help with this. Almost, yeah, that's a beyond. Come back here, you. Nope, need to go a little bit further. Good enough. All right, that is going to be my first landmark. So let's put the landmark there. And I'll put a torch next to it. And that gives me the max size that this will, will process. So let's go this away. Yeah. I didn't want to go up. There we go. That's where that landmark is going. And I'm not sure I have enough dirt to get to the other. Let's see. It's neat. 
close. It's not close enough. All right, let's uh, steal some of the um, three. That's what I want. I don't need all of these in place. Knock some of these down and reclaim them. Hey, you too. Do, do, do. Sadly, the Quarry's Plus mod is not part of the uh, Feed the Beast Infinity mod, because if it were, that would uh, be lovely for a, a, a later process. Because, boy, howdy. You know, this, this is a... I think it's right now a... 4x4 four four chunk, which is plenty enough, but the Quarries Plus can do up to a 16x16 16 16 chunk process, and that's a large amount of quarrying. Alright, I should have enough. Normally I would start on the ground, but I am too lazy to chop down this tree. There we go. There is that. And we can confirm that this is working by dropping our quarry in place. Quarry. You go right there. Nope. Huh. Why are you not... Are you like Quarry Plus where I have to right click you? Yes, that's what I have to do. All right, so now I have a defined area. There we go. And it just popped out all my little land markers. Yeah, it fell down. Where are you? You're cheap, but I made you and I don't want to lose you. Well, I think I lost it. Oh, no, there you are. Come here, you. And there's one over here. Unless it's still up. Mm. You might have fallen in the water, unless it stayed up there. I don't know. Do you see it? I don't see it. It may have popped up. There it is. And this one was over here too. It one fell down, I saw. Oh, it's acting like it's falling down. You're glitched up here. Huh. Well. I don't see it. Oh, nope, nope, I got it in my inventory. So, let's complete the rest of this. I need a chest. I need power. Let's see. Chest first, because it ejects the stuff up at the top. I've got tools. Let's go ahead and put the power underneath, because we can do that. Alright, so that's already configured to pull from below, and it's going to push up. Yep, there it's starting to go. Let's make sure this bottom one will send up. Alright, so that is starting to push out, and it's going to, yep, lay out the foundation for us. Alrighty, while that's doing that, I've got a bunch of barrels, and chests, and item conduits. So, let's go ahead and put the barrels in place. They're going to go here. And then the chest at the last. Yeah, I could be more efficient, but I don't care. And these are going in. And I'm going to leave that at zero and put this one at one so it goes in a little bit faster. And then let's go ahead and have a higher priority for these. 
because I want them to go in first if they can. And you are going to anything in here yet? Nope, not yet. Let's go ahead and extract. I do have a little bit of dirt, so you are going in right there and lock that. All right, it is starting to drill through. Not sure if that's actually going to pick up any sapling out of this, but I, I was too lazy to want to actually chew this down by myself, so I'm happy that this will do it. All right, so while that's chewing that, power-wise, holy cow, is it going through fa power fast. Okay, 400,000 times two is not enough. I really need to get a bigger bit of power, uh, possibly some, some generators here. Well, I was hoping those uh, those batteries, not as powerful as I want them to be, would, uh, would do it, but nope, <laughs> not going to do it. But not bad. It's going to go ahead and chew through. I'm going to have to uh, get some power for this, but I'm liking it. And then once it hits the, the, the ground, it's actually going to chew in a hole for me, and I'll start reaping the rewards. Yeehaw! So there's Spawn. And just over here, my first death. <laughs> just a little while ago, I was I saw on the map the that there was a warded Enderman. I said, ooh, that's kind of cool. Let's try that. So I died here. I thought I was hiding enough underneath and he could get me, but here would have been fine. But nope, I was down there and he could get in and he hit me several times and I was already wounded and splat. Oh well. Well, it's quarry update time. You can see I've got a nice little waymark set up here to outline where the quarry is, so I know where it is because I don't want to lose it because that would be embarrassing. And it's working. You can notice that the outline is gone. I went and I said, uh, maybe I want to access this little spot right here. And so I punched it and the entire thing went poof. Okay, well, it's gone. But it's a little bit more updated than before, as you can see. Uh, I installed Optifine and that gives a weird glitchy thing you can see with the, the, the barrels, but oh well. This is a power generator, which is incredibly cheap and cheesy. I just dump my wood in here, and I'm harvesting the wood from a set of spruces down there, you can see, two of them have grown. And it feeds the wood into these furnaces, which pull the coal, or the charcoal out, and then feeds them back in so that they all have at least, you know, they're all full up as far as uh, charcoal is concerned. So they have plenty of fuel. And these are all set to priority two. And then this one is set in out at priority zero. So the charcoal just stacks into here if these are, are full. Works great. It's uh, the four of these are generating more than the the three generators are consuming as far as the charcoal is concerned. And I have uh, various barrels here to hold the, the stuff. I originally was thinking, I just dropped in the five, but I added more. I was originally thinking of just adding multiples, like I have two ones here for you can you can't see the the gravel I was thinking of having multiples for the, the cobble here's a cobble I was gonna have a second cobble and then I said no I can just go ahead and upgrade these yes it's cheaper to just stack on more and more but I don't have very many of these item conduits at this point uh, when I set this up I had very few I've since uh, gotten more uh, so I said nah let me just upgrade these can do and uh, then as I check in this chest for the leftover bits, I look and see sort uh, what there's a lot of, and then figure I can add a new one. So the in this case here, we've got um, the, what do I have in here? Quarried stone, that's right. And this has the marble, various uh, andesite and limestone. That is the leftover from chewing down that rubber tree. 
51 stacks of rubber, of raw rubber. That's a lot of rubber. All the wood that came out of it, I have already processed into charcoal, and you know, that's the way it goes. I don't care about that wood. And I also took the saplings, because they were just regular saplings, like uh, that one right there. And I, again, I don't care about those, so I went ahead and burned those in the furnace as well. And as I get a bunch of these spruce saplings, I get a stack of them, I swap them out and stick them in. See, it's burning spruce saplings right now. I don't care. But it's doing a pretty good job. It's chewing down. One thing that I have noticed, sadly, is that uh, by default the the world starts at le Y level 80. And I said, ah, I want to have more resources, so I started it at, at 100. Not every ore spawns nicely. Coal does, some of these other do. I would really like it if the iron and copper and, and those ones that I'm, I'm really looking for were to spawn here, and they don't. There's also a fun glitch that if you're far enough away from the, the quarry up there, you don't see it move. It's actually processing the stuff and chewing through, but we don't get the updates because we're too far away. Um, something similar happens with the Quarries Plus, where it just disappears when you're far enough away from, from the quarry. Eh, minor thing. This is my little spot where I've been gathering wood. I just use my lumber axe, chop, 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 gather, replant, and you know, re, re uh, pair my my axe right there. Are there more efficient ways? Yes. Do I really care? No. This is mainly uh, first generation gathering of items. I, I'm not planning on doing too many of these. I, I just really want to get a bulk gathering of resources, particularly the ores, not so much the, the, the cobble and dirt and things. The, the, the main idea, I want the resources without having to, to spend the time digging, and this is one way to do it. Ender Quarry uh, will probably be the, the next one I'll start setting up. And I can go out to places like uh, into the, the nether and uh, harvest a huge amount of the ores that are there. But uh, I, I hate to, to use the ender quarry outside of the mining world because it looks really ugly to have this large glob of dirt suddenly appear. But if I do it way far off in the, the nether distance, then you know nobody's going to reach it. And who cares? But that's what we're doing. Looking pretty good. Oh, yeah getting those resources. That's a lot of cobble. I may have to go up uh, one more stack because that's already half full and we're not going too far down yet so that's got to get upgraded. Oh well. That's the way it goes. But I like it. I'm in the mood for some stuff. Mob stuff. Specifically, I'm in the mood for ender pearls. A lot of the stuff I want to make, like a tesseract, well, two, requires ender pearls, and I have very few of them, and I want lots. Don't have access to the end yet, but I do have access to a cool little quick mob farm. Took me maybe eh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to slap this thing together. Got the killing field down here, and I actually want to set this up so that I will get the items out of oh, quiet Enderman out of here and into a chest that will have a lot more storage. So let's extract here and let's go ahead and insert there. And in comes the stuff, which is good. Because taking a look here, I'll take those. Thank you, thank you. Uh, these are the various things that have plopped in here uh, since I started uh, grabbing these. So, very simple little uh, structure. It's a five by five hole in the middle, and then it's six wide out from there. I went ahead and put fans and powered them uh, around the, the side here to uh, set this up. And there's the uh, you know lit up at the top, so nothing spawns up there. Although that's right at build limit, I think they still spawn. And very very simple little structure in here. Nothing nothing really fancy, but because the fans are just right, 
anywhere they spawn in here, they just get blown in and over the edge they go. Splat to their demise. And this lovely little vacuum chest, we'll go ahead and suck these things up. I'll take that. And drop them now into the chest, which I think is very nice. I like it. I really don't care about any of these resources too much, except I really care about the ender pearls and these ender fragments, yeah. which uh, I see are new with the infinity. They combine uh, these together in a cross pattern and you'll get uh, five of them into a ender pearl, which is what I'm looking for. So that's good. So I, I occasionally just kind of hang up here for a few minutes and watch them fall because that's endlessly fun. And occasionally, one of them will survive if they are named mob, in which case I just jump up there and go swack, 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 and occasionally they'll give me a treasure bag. So, hey, that's not bad. Look at this wave coming in. I don't want those. I want the Endermen. Come on. More Endermen. More Endermen. I must have pearls. Well, I didn't expect to be uploading a Feed the Beast Infinity video this early. I figured, yeah, take my time and do this slowly, but I've been having so much fun getting the, the stuff going as I start up on the, the server that I've put together this compilation of, of things I've been doing. Uh, the quarry's working great. If we take a look over here, Here's some of the ores that have come out of it, which has been very nice. Uh, so much that I can't really put them all in my uh, processed ore chest, even though I've been making blocks of, of various things. But that's all good. Added some more uh, processing power here. Tesseracts, oh yeah. Yes, I can power my quarry from this Tesseract. The problem though is it sucks down the power from my mini guy so fast that, yeah, I'm, I'm not in a race, uh, I'm fine. I have gone and processed a whole bunch more genes, so now I'm immune to lava and immune to poison since I was crawling around in the, the mining world and came across the cave spider spawner and I said, oh, oh hey, poison free. That's what I want. So, been adding uh, stuff like that. Uh, so that's uh, very nice. And just generally, oh yeah, got some uh, stuff ready for AE2 when I'm ready. The next thing, uh, probably finding a place. Because this is a nice little hovel, but this is not permanent. There's no way permanent. Possible base. Possible base two. Possible base three. Several things as I was been uh, flying around that I said, ooh, that has some potential. But those are for a different show. I think that's what we'll do next. But it's been fun. Hope you've enjoyed watching it, because I've surely been having fun playing it. And uh, if you have any comments or suggestions as biomes that you really like for bases, let me know and I'll take a look and see what I can find in, in the area. I've been doing quite a bit of flying to, to see what would be a good place to set up as a permanent base. Set up some enhanced portals to zip back and forth to spawn so that uh, everybody can be connected because everybody kind of wants to go off in, into their own direction and build something cool. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the Feed the Beast Infinity server having lots of fun. Thanks for watching. Bye!